Hello everyone, this is Rich Hay from WindowsObserver.com. Welcome to this edition of Tips and Tricks and Things. Uh, today I want to walk you through the Windows 8 Consumer Preview in the desktop mode and I'm going to be showing you all the keyboard and mouse uh, methods that you can navigate the Windows 8 desktop. Uh, we'll do another Tips, Tricks and Things video to focus on the Metro side of things operating it with the mouse and keyboard. So as we get started, I want to show you some of the hot spots on the screen and areas that you can use your mouse to interact with the system without having to use touch. So we're going to start down in the lower left corner where we used to have our start menu at. And down there now, as you bring the mouse down and you hover, you'll see a, a graphic kind of image come up on the screen and that's the start screen. And uh, the cool thing about the attention to detail here is that each one of those blocks on that little overlay actually match the way you have things set up on your desk on your metro side. Now if you were to click here, it would take you directly to the start screen, which has replaced the start menu. And again, if I go back down to that lower left corner, I get an image of the desktop, and now we're back at the desktop. I also want to show you down here in this lower left corner a bit of a power user menu. If you drag down here and get that start screen image up again and right click, you'll get this menu right here which features 16 different entries from programs and features, network connections, power options, all the way down. And this is really a, a bit of a power user menu. It gives you quick access to things within the control panel that you will use on a regular basis gives you access to run and it also gives you access to things like a command prop both a regular command prop and a command prop with administrator rights so that's the lower left corner and some of the options it gives you now we're going to move up into the upper left corner and what you see come up is an image of one of my an app that is running in the Windows 8 Metro mode and that's the weather app and if I was to left click here I would get the weather app on the metro side and if I continue to hover you see that it goes back to the desktop and then I get an image of my mail app in metro I can click there so as you can see I can kinda click left click and move between different screens and different apps that I have open uh, now the one caveat is is with that method everything on the desktop is considered one uh, program so you just get one vision of the desktop not uh, any other open windows or programs you have in there but I will show you that you can still access that kind of stuff sticking with the upper left hand corner I want to show you what's called uh, people, some people call it the app bar some people call it the app switcher but as I as I go up into that upper left corner and I get that preview image of the weather app on the metro side and I pull down just slightly a bar opens up that we'll call the app bar and, or it's called the app switcher too. I've heard it called several different things. <clears throat> but as you can see here, I get images of other apps that I have open. Because I'm on the desktop, I see the other two apps that are open on the Metro side. Plus down at the bottom, there's that image of the start screen again. So I can click on any one of these and switch to that app. And even on the Metro side, I can go back to that and get that bar to come up and I can click on it and bring this up. Now there's one other bit of functionality with this app switcher bar and that is with the mouse I can right click and I get options to snap things left or snap it right which basically puts that in a small column either on the left side or right side of the screen um, and then I'm going to close that and then back here on the desktop as I'm sitting in there when I right click I can also close the app so if I click close that app is now closed and no longer appears in the app bar, the app switcher. So that's a very handy. This also comes up during touch. Um, you just swipe in slightly and then swipe back in from the left hand border and this image will come up and allow you to switch as well. So a very handy thing to have up in the upper left hand corner. Um, on the right lower corner, remember peak? Uh, peak is an option that we used to have in Windows 7 that was a little uh, menu a little uh, tab bar down here in the lower right hand corner by the sys tray that would let you peek at the desktop so let me open up a window here on the desktop and as I go down to the bottom right corner and I get in that corner I get a peek at the desktop so the peek function still there even though the buttons not highlighted in any, in any way now if I right click while I'm in that area I get the context menu that is a, shows the default action down there for a left click that show desktop and I can actually now turn the peek at desktop function off. So if I click that, that's no longer going to work as a peek, 
but if I click, I minimize all windows on the desktop. So that's very handy to have to get back to the desktop very quickly. Uh, right lower corner, I also want to show you the charms bar. Now, the charms bar appears in both desktop and metro side, and as you see, as I went down to the lower right hand corner, the charms bar appeared kind of in transparent mode. Uh, and then after a little bit it disappears. If I go down there and get the charge bar up and I drag my mouse up, you see everything fills in. Uh, you also get the, the date and time and stuff over there on the left hand side. And now you've got these charm bar entries and these are um, standard throughout the OS and interact with any application you have going on. So you have the, the quick link to search, you have a quick link to share things, you have of course the start screen, this is for your devices and then of course this is for your settings um, and while I'm here I do want to show you um, the settings is where you go to turn things off um, so you you click on there and you get this desktop kind of uh, context menu and you see it has several different entries here and there's the power button you click on it and you get sleep shut down or restart um, and so there's more to be explored here if you go to more PC settings that's kind of the metro version of the control panel with most of the entries you need for that and then just click in the desktop somewhere to turn that off so that's the right lower corner uh, you also in the right upper corner get the charms bar by going up into that hot spot of the right upper corner hovering it comes up transparent drag down the line and you get it all filled in and now you access the same things that you access from the bottom right in the charms bar all right, one other toolbar I want to show you here that kind of replaces some of the functionality of the old start menu. Remember I showed you over here on the bottom left, I showed you this power menu. Well, what I want to show you is a toolbar you can add to your taskbar um, that will give you some more uh, access to information on your system that you used to get from the start menu. So if you right click on the taskbar and go up to toolbars and you select the desktop toolbar, you, you'll notice here that you get a small entry <clears throat> right next to the system tray and a, a, a button here you can click and you click on that and here's the menu you get there's access to all your libraries so your document music picture and video libraries if you have a home group on your system you have access to that there's your user directory which is all of your files and all of the information that you would normally find in your documents uh, you have access to the computer here so it includes any drives that are visible uh, uh, network uh, machines that are available and then right below it is also network where you see all of your network devices and anything that's recognized by the system then you have a control panel entry which gives you access to several regularly used control panel app, uh, applets and also every control panel applet right there so there's a lot of information available there there's a quick access to the recycle bin and of course this button right here would bring up the entire desktop control panel so that's between that menu and this lower left hand corner right click power user menu you really do replace a lot of the functionality of what we used to get out of the old start menu and it's it it's just another click away once you've set those things up now <clears throat> that's all of the and then uh, real quick before i go on to windows key shortcuts i just want to point out that everything on the desktop still works like we're used to it working in windows 7 there's your personalized gadgets screen resolution you can right click on recycle bin and, and delete things and remove items so you click on recycle bin and you'll get a recycle bin window so the functionality of the desktop beyond those hot spots I just showed you is exactly like it was in Windows 7 alright so now let's talk a little bit about the keyboard shortcuts the first one I want to point out is the Windows key if you press the Windows key it will bring up the start screen and there you see your dynamic start screen with all your live tiles and things like that and this is very organizable and we'll talk about organizing the start screen in the next tip tricks and uh, things video if you hit the windows key again it will bring you right back to the desktop now i also want to show you that alt tab still works just fine and in alt tab it cycles through the programs just like you would expect it to the big difference here between it and the app bar the app switcher is that you will see every program that's open on your desktop not just a single desktop window representing everything that's in the desktop like you see in the app bar or the app switcher bar alright um, the next one is the windows key tab will bring up the app bar or the app switcher that that's what I showed you earlier with the mouse in the upper left 
or the lower left uh, corners for hotspots, but you can also bring it up by holding the Windows key, uh, the Windows key and tab in the same exact same manner. So there's a keyboard shortcut for that as well as a mouse shortcut. Control Alt Delete, uh, lovingly known as the three finger salute, still comes up, still gives you the option to lock, switch user, to sign out, or to go to Task Manager, and of course you get a shutdown button here. Um, Control Shift Escape is a great shortcut to the task manager. Of course, you can put a shortcut to the task manager on your desktop or your taskbar, but that's Control Shift Escape brings task manager up. If you want to get the charms bar by keyboard shortcut, just hit the Windows key and C, and that will bring up the same charms bar that you get when you drag the mouse in the upper right or lower right corners. Uh, the last Windows key one I'll show you is one that worked in Windows 7 and that's the Windows key E and that brings up your Windows Explorer so you can explore the file structure and directory structure on your computer. Now search. One of the other things that I know I used a lot in Windows 7 was I would hit the Windows key, it would pop up the start menu, my cursor would already be in the search bar, I just type what I was looking for and then it would I would uh, execute the program or whatever I was looking for. And that's the way I started a lot of programs outside of the taskbar or shortcuts. So if you still want to search, you have to search in the start screen. So you hit the if you just hit the Windows key and let go, you'll get to the start screen and then just start typing. And as you see, the results will come up. You'll also see uh, categories or areas that that search matches in. So you got a task manager app. If you go to settings, you get some things for task manager there. And of course, files tells you everything on your computer that has the name task manager or the, the words task managers in the documents. So that is an easy way to do your searching. Um, and then I've already shown you shut down and restart. So at this point, that is uh, an overview of all the keyboard shortcuts and mouse shortcuts that come with the Windows 8 Consumer Preview. Uh, if you have any questions about any of these or you have any that I might have missed or you know of some other tricks and tips that would work great here on the Windows 8 Consumer Preview desktop, then please stop by the website and let us know. Thanks for your attention and have a great day.